Welcome back everyone. Are you ready for another battleship hunt? We have covered the destroyer and the cruise ship. The smallest and the biggest. Now on to the submarine. The submarine takes up three spaces. So this will be short and sweet. Coming close and pay attention. Today the points are present restaurants, cafes, bars in Paris with a common theme of art. Before getting into it, remember the same logic remains as the last two episodes. The arrondissement of whichever places I give you will make up the horizontal and vertical coordinates of the points. On y va. The first place actually has two locations. You will only need one. The restaurant under this name specialty is seafood, known for their shellfish and white wine. The other is a cocktail bar. That's the one you will use as your horizontal coordinate. What's so special about this bar? Well, other than the ambiance and creative cocktail names, it's a makeshift art gallery too, that displays artwork from emerging artists to be enjoyed and bought by customers. If you have walls, you can do the same. Now, the vertical coordinate is a personal favorite of mine. This place is housed in one of the largest railway stations in Paris. Created in 1900 for the World Fair, this iconic place lived through the Belle Epoque. With majestic moldings in gold and beautiful paintings and mural covering from wall to ceiling. What adds to their rich history is the number of grand artists that would frequent this restaurant. French celebrities like Brigitte Bardot, Jean Cocteau, Coco Chanel, and even Salvador Dali all wine and dine in this luxurious place. It's gorgeous and worth visiting. This is our vertical coordinate. One point down, two more to go. This is the opposite of the others, because it is an art gallery with a salon de thé. With a vast collection of international paintings and objects of art, this professional gallery is a perfect place for an intimate cup of tea among African cultures from the 15th century, china plates and contemporary paintings. This is our horizontal coordinate. The vertical coordinate is perhaps a little too modern for me, but I can appreciate it. It's a building with restaurants, bars, patio, but most interestingly, a digital facade. It showcases digital art on big screens collage on to the front of the building. They exhibit an array of digital artists with many different themes and display them on those screens. It's quite a unique idea, no? All right, we're on the last stretch. Stay strong, on n'y est pas encore. A French restaurant that dates over 120 years, known for their classic French food at a good price. Escargot, meat and fish, all for around 10 euros. C'est bien, non? Having gone only through four owners over the last century, this restaurant value stays true to itself and remains immersed in French culture and tradition. The cherry on top being the Art Nouveau style interiors, a must see. 
now this place has three locations under the same name. But if you remember the points of a battleship, I am sure you will figure out which one it is based on the arrondissement. And last but not least, the final vertical coordinate to pinpoint my submarine. Ha <laughs> ha! This one has a rich and vivid history. It was opened during the Roaring Twenties, the time where Paris was a hotspot for all kinds of artists from all over the world. Picasso, Hemingway, Sartre, Beauvoir, Fitzgerald, and many more. Ernest Hemingway wrote a novel called The Sun Also Rises that takes place during this time in Paris. Depicting the lives of the lost generation, the main characters of the book often spend time in the neighborhood of this brasserie. When Leclerc's second armored division and the Parisian people drove out the German occupiers, they were liberated uh, on August 25th, 1944. It is said that Hemingway went to this very brasserie for a celebratory drink. There is so much more to say about this one. Henri Matisse had his atelier not too far away and often went for drinks there for fresh take and inspiration. Jean-Paul Sartre and Simone de Beauvoir also frequented this café. The history is so beautiful and rich with this one, I can go on and on. But well, that was our last point. I hope you are inspired to visit a few of these places or to find some more places yourself that bring art into your daily life. So, do you think you found a submarine? But who will find it first? I'll see you in the next one. Good luck.